Guys, today we have some awesome information about the original Surface 201. Some information about why we are going to be getting Android 11 very, very shortly. And our first real update to the Duo 1 to kind of match the whole Surface Duo 2. So starting off with a way, this is an article from Windows Central uh, written by Daniel Rubino. Rubino, I am awful with names, but pretty much what this article is saying, guys, is that the actual Microsoft launcher is now being added back to the Microsoft store. So it was taken out around a month ago, and at that time, the rumor was the reason why they took it out was because they wanted to go ahead and take more control of the actual launcher instead of it being in the store where it gets updates. They wanted to actually go ahead and have it so that it would be monthly updates and they could really enhance the whole software better that was the speculation at the moment in time that we all believed and we thought was actually true well that was absolutely false apparently because what actually happened was there was a bug in the store that would not let you be able to use the launcher it was a bug that as he states right here um let me see if i can find exactly the quote but it was pretty much a bug that would not let you be able to use the launcher so with that in mind it is now back in the store and it is now ready to go okay right here due to a blocking bug which has now been resolved so it is now back in the store and any person that wants to can go ahead and now use the microsoft launcher in the store and it will be uh updates uh in the store as it used to be before they took it out now here is the big big kicker here guys this is the surface duo one on the screen now you guys can see the one on the left is the original surface duo one the new and improved updated one is the one on the right and of course this represent represents more of what the surface duo two looks like slash it represents more of you know kind of windows 11 s with the curved edges at the top of the app drawer so this is an update that is coming to the surface duo one and what is really interesting about this is this is our first look at truly getting Android 11 on the Surface Duo 1. If they're updating it and adding this feature to the Surface Duo 1, guys, it's just, honestly, they already admitted and already said they're going to give us Android 11. This is just all setting up perfectly. Get everything, you know, set up, get the framework for Android 11 set up on the Surface Duo 1, and then just release the update. So, again, yes, at this moment in time, we do not have Android 11 on the Surface Duo 1, and they did tell us by the end of this year we're going to get Android 11 on the Surface Duo 1. Again, like I said, I might seem optimistic here. I might seem like completely crazy and delusional, but I truly do believe they're going to give us Android 11 on the Surface Duo 1. And this is actually a really good uh, first start. And if you guys look at this, I mean, look how that looks so much more beautiful. It's not even like, it's not even comparable at this point. If you look at the Duo 1's app drawer and you look at the Duo uh, 1's updated app drawer, I almost want to say Duo 2. Like, this is so beautiful. I want to say uh duo two for like just right away because it looks like it would be a duo two's app drawer but it's not so with that in mind no longer are they, we going to be getting system updates monthly for the microsoft launcher obviously we will still get the actual monthly updates for the phone now so this is not changing anything when it comes to the actual phone we will still be getting our monthly updates so january february march april may so on and so on and obviously in march of next year we'll most likely be getting android 12l and i was kind of going back and forth because a lot of people have been asking me like do i think we're going to get android 12l on both devices and at first, I said no, right? Because Android 12L is going to be a very going to need a lot of processing power to run it. First off, and it's not, it might not be optimized for the Duo One. I think if we get Android 11, I think we might get Android 12L on the Surface Duo One. But I think it really comes down to, you know, again, how are the sales looking like when we are in March of next year, and if those sales are still looking decent for the Duo One, even at that price tag, six hundred dollars. I think Microsoft just might push it out to the phone and see if it works. They might try it out, maybe do a beta program or something like that. But I definitely feel like Microsoft will, especially if sales are still good, they will go ahead and go for it. Now, if you're a Duo 2 owner, what are you getting out of all this? Because all the things I mentioned right now all sounds like the Duo 1 is getting everything and the Duo 2 is getting left behind. Well, first off, here is the Duo 2 and what is different. So the launcher feed and overall design was updated. 
the newsfeed experience was enhanced. The toggle uh, between work and personal apps was improved. We also have additional filters are now available to improve searching and other known bugs improvements were made. So this is all of course to the Google uh, Play Store updates. So I mean, if you're a Duo 2 owner, you might be sitting there like, I didn't really get anything from this and the Duo 1 get everything. And for the most part, kind of yeah. But to be honest, we have, as Duo 2 owners, we have gotten a lot of updates over the last couple of months. And of course, we did get that December update that added so many new features and simply stuff that the Duo 1 did not simply get. So again, as a Duo 2 owner myself, I understand the frustration of you know, watching this video and being like, where, where's our updates? Where is the updates for the Duo 2? And it's, listen, we have gotten a lot so far. And this is just a, you know, pushing forward even more. But this is also a bad thing because I have to mention the Devil's Advocate here, guys. Because at the same time, this was amazing. It's awesome update. This looks bad because the reason why this was a good thing in the first place, this whole concept was because I really truly did believe it. I think a lot of people believed that they took it down so they could better work on the software and better, you know, improve the overall experience of the Duo 1 and 2. And instead, it ends up being kind of the opposite. It's not really something that they were trying to perfect. They, It was something that they messed up. It was something that they could not fix for a second. And they had to take it down so that they could try and fix it because it was something that was a problem. So ironically enough, what we thought was their way of improving the software and really taking control of the software was really just an issue of they didn't they couldn't control the software themselves they actually could not create the correct software to push past this and have this work fluently and perfectly so again like i said it is a two-way it is two-sided street i know i'm gonna get the comments down below and i'm gonna get one side just saying this is absolutely shows why microsoft can't be trusted why microsoft is not going to be a you know you shouldn't buy the duo one and two because microsoft is doing this and having issues and then the other side of well listen at least they fixed the problem you know they improved the problem they know what happened moving forward they can continue to progress and again the other side is they did update the duo to, uh, one they did perfect the Duo 1. They made the Duo 1 a lot better. And even though, yes, it's a small little update, honestly, at this point, every little update is definitely a W. And again, for the Duo 1, Android 11, last thing I'll say before I end up this video, is they've already signed off on the Duo 1 based on rumors. They've already signed off on the Duo 1 uh, Android 11 update. They've already put it through. So it's literally poised to happen any day now at this point. Because they've already put it through. They've already signed off on it. So we should be seeing the Android 11 update on the Duo 1 very shortly. Again, I will have a video the second does come out. I'll have a review of it and telling you guys if you should update or not. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.